holidays from Ed and me over at Snake Discovery. As you may or may not know, today is Christmas in the US, so we are celebrating by gifting our reptiles and our bird some presents today that we are going to be unwrapping. We are currently at our bank actually, because a lot of you were so nice and you sent a lot of change and I feel bad paying for things and a lot of change. So you I don't think- You wanna give somebody a hundred pennies? No, not really. I feel bad. So I think we're going to take this and convert it to dollar bills. Like we're changing it from a liquid to a gas? <laughs> we're changing it <laughs> into dollar bills. I'm surprised bills. you didn't use that pun. <laughs> I thought of this one first. Yeah, there's so many boxes here that you are all so nice to have sent. There's a Pokemon box that we've been using, Cheyenne's Treat Funds, Rex Funds, colorful box. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you can recognize like one of yours in this video. But yes, we do use all of them and that's actually what we've been storing it all in for now. Whoever sent us this box sent us some of their hair too. <gasps> we have their DNA. Yeah. What do we do with Canadian dollars? Or uh, British pounds. Oh, that's cool. That's right. Yeah, I remember that sweet. one. Man, these look so cool. We, we can't spend them. We should bring this to Twin Cities Reptile and see if they'll take it. <laughs> we also have a gift card that was sent to us by Chloe for Target. So we're going to have to find something at Target, maybe for Shane or something. Okay, we got all of the change out of all of the Rex and other animal fish funds boxes and my guess is that there's $20 here. What do you think is in here? Probably like 23, 24 bucks. Okay, let's see who's closest. And the answer was $43. Holy cow. Yeah, I win. You win, guys. And some Ones that aren't American. Yes. <laughs> we'll save those for another special day. Okay, let's go get our critters some Christmas gifts. And since Chloe said part of the gift card was to buy something for myself, I totally got a coffee. Thank you, Chloe. And we're back. The gifts in today's video that we picked up today weren't actually bought by us. They were bought by you guys, you fans. Throughout the years, uh, a lot of generous fans have sent a couple dollars at a time to our P.O. box, which we keep telling you to stop sending us cash, guys. But you do anyway, so we wanted to make sure it went to our animals, and today is going to be the day where you get to figure out what you bought for the critters. We didn't use all of the Rex fish funds or all of the, the dollars that were sent. We saved some for another video down the line, and we'll get into that later. But today, we have quite a few presents to open. I think one's chirping at us. Yeah, there sounds like there is one package in there that is chirping. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but one of those is definitely chirping at you. We should probably open that one first. Yeah, otherwise it's going to annoy both of us. As you can see, I'm still in my pajamas because I was too excited to get dressed before starting today's video. But the first present for today is for our Amazon milk frogs. I only brought one down because they'd be hopping everywhere if I brought all five of them that we have now. But let's open up their gift. What do you think you got? Can you hear it? Oh, do you see it in there? We've got oh, crickets for you. Oh, lucky frogs. Should we go up and feed them? Yeah, let's see if they like it. Here you go, right, froggos. froggers. You're gonna get uh, tasty, tasty crickets. This is the enclosure oh. from the versus video, by the way. Oh, did you get one? I don't know if we got one. Oh, he did that time. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> Look, my fountain is still working. There it is. Get it, get it. Nice. nice. It's really cute because at night when this fountain turns off because it's on a timer or the pump turns off, all of the frogs jump over here and they sleep in each of the pockets. And then it turns on and they all get waterlogged. <laughs> yeah. And then they come out and sit on the on the cork bark. Yep. Come on, frogs. Get those two crickets. Nice. Oh. He got Did he get one. Two? Uh, just one. The other one fell down by oh, the pump. Okay. Well, yeah. I think they like their gift. Yeah, I think they appreciate their gift from the fans. Oh, and while we're up here, we might as well feed some of uh, the dumpy frogs. That guy sleeps in the cutest position. He okay. found a little hole and he just sits in there. They're kind of shy eaters, so we'll just put some crickets in there for them and... Let them go to town. Merry Christmas to you guys too. Well, I'd say our milk frogs enjoyed their present from you guys, but we didn't want our gray tree frog to feel left out, so we got him a gift too. He loves to eat. He always has, so his present. Ready? Can you open it? Okay, let's see what he got for Christmas. What did you get? You got... <gasps> Waxworms! Your favorite! Your oh. favorite! You ready for one? Let's see if he likes his present. Oh, yep, I'd say he does! 
Oh, a tasty wax worm. This is quite the treat for him. He doesn't oh. get these too often. They're no. kind of fatty. And he's already chunky. But it's Christmas. Aw, oh. Merry Christmas, little buddy. Thank you, viewers. The next present is for our garter snakes. This is our erythristic or albino erythristic garter snake. This is uh, one that's big enough to move to the adult enclosure recently. So we got something extra special for all of them for Christmas. Do you want to see what you got? Can you unwrap your gift? She's like, I'll, I'll sniff it. I'll lick it. That's about all I can do. Okay. I don't know if that smells good or not. <laughs> what did you get for Christmas? is a toy, it's a dog toy, but it works really well for it, uh, offering enrichment to snakes because they can crawl all over it and through it. She crawled right through it when we when we opened it there. Look, that's for you. Aw, do you like it? We actually got not just one holy roller for one of our garter snake cages, we got three. We have, just for our garters, two of these for our two adult cages of garters and one smaller one for the younger ones we're raising up. So they're gonna have tons of fun new enrichment in their cages, look. Oh, cool, she's already using it. That is awesome. The next present is for PJ, our lychee, our female lycheonis gecko. What are you gonna get? Have you been good enough for a nice gift? What did PJ get? Oh, you got, oh, it's backwards. But you got oh, Pangea watermelon. Yeah, since somebody doesn't like her rapashi food, she gets her food that she'll actually eat again. Yeah, she's kind of picky, we're now learning. Now you have Pangea, which you like a little bit more than Rapashi, apparently. <sighs> Merry Christmas. And we didn't want to forget about Larry, our male Lichianus gecko, so we got him a present too. What did you get, buddy? Here, look, this is your gift. What could it be? Shake it. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Larry got <gasps> a new feeding cup. Look at that, now you can eat while it's attached to the side. He's like, I don't care, just give me yeah. food. Just put food in my mouth. Should we see if they like the Pangea? Sure. All right. Oh, fresh bag of Pangea smell. It smells really good, actually. Oh yeah, it sure does. We've like, eaten this, this is yeah. tasty stuff. Compared to the other reptile foods, that's much better. Yeah, like hamster food. That's yeah. the worst food out there. Oh, they are definitely two different color lizards. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Dark, light. I'm shaking them as I shake the Pangea. But yeah, they're both beautiful. And it's neat to see how the pattern is different with them yeah. too. Okay, PJ, do you like the watermelon? Here you go. Do you like your gift? You should drink it. Try it. No, I only eat in my cage. Yeah, she never eats out of her hands, yeah. but. Larry though, however, usually eats it right away. There, there he goes. Aw. Good job, he, boy. He likes it. Okay, well, we'll share PJ's Christmas gift with you. Yeah, although we can't share yours with her. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, your gift stays in your cage. <laughs> well, I'd say they approve of their present this yeah. year. All right. Next, we have a present for our Cuban false chameleons. This is our male. He is super chillax. Actually, they all are. It's like they have no prey driver instinct, but it makes them really handleable. And we decided to spoil them with a huge gift. What could that be? I don't know. Could it be bugs for you? Could it be a stick? You got a new plant for your cage. Look at that. We made sure the species was safe for these guys. Oh, are you gonna climb right on it? Oh, kind of. I think he likes it. Well, I'd say he approves. Yeah. And actually, I was curious to see if it would hold up to their weight. Yeah. It seems to be strong enough. All right, awesome. I wasn't expecting him to just climb right on in, but this is, this is great. Look at that. Aw. Yep. I'd say he approves yeah, of his I present from all it. of you. Nice. Let's we'll see if the other ones like it. Yeah, let's go put it in their cage. All right, here you go, buddy. Join all of your friends, okay? And this is a, uh, Dracania. Dr Dracania? I remember looking this up. It is reptile safe. I don't, just don't know how to pronounce it, honestly, but it's a really cool plant to use in terrariums. And I, I'm excited to see how they like it. Think in that corner? Sure. I think it would look good there. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, dirt's all over the floor. That's okay. Emily. I'm gonna have to go up and over. How could you? I know, I know. That looks good back there. Oh, that does look really nice. Actually, we need to get some real vines and yank all these fake plants out mm -hmm. of here. Yeah, I'd like to do that next. Merry Christmas, lizards! Yeah, Merry Christmas. 
chameleon and chameleon and oh there's one <laughs> and there's the other one merry christmas guys thank you fans for buying them this gift yeah that'll look great it already looks great the next present was actually bought not by us but using funds that we gave to a friend so that we would also be surprised a couple of our buddies picked up this gift for both our turtles and for our legless lizards apparently so i have shelby our false map turtle out here with us and we're gonna see what's inside this box what could be in there what is in there for you? Okay, there's two bags inside. This one says for Chloe and the turtles. And the other part of the package is for our legless lizards. So we'll open the turtle gift first. What's in there? It's like she's actually looking at yeah. it too. She's like, I don't know. What is it what, food? What could it possibly be? Can I eat it? Even though it's in a PetSmart bag, these actually, all the gifts from today's video were bought at small local ah. shops in the area. So they must've just put it, they must've just had a spare PetSmart bag. Let's see, you get oh, dog chewies. Oh, you get, oh nice, redfish skin cubes. You could totally not on those. That'd be good for Chloe or Snappy oh, Turtle she too. She likes those, she's pushing them away. Oh, she is, okay, what else is in here? Freeze dried chicken. Chicken. Oh, you could totally eat that. Look, that's for you, Shelby. Oh, yeah. she likes that. Yeah, that does look pretty tasty, doesn't it? Okay, what else is in here? Raw Boost Mixers Chicken Flavor. Oh, you could totally eat those too. Look at her stare at that. I think She's she like, approves. I know that's food. Yeah, oh, they're gonna love these. There's green-lipped mussels that they also found. I've never heard of those before. Weird. That would be a great snack for turtles, oh, yeah. though. Oh, they're gonna love all of these. There's so many presents that our turtles are gonna love. Look, she's so excited. Should we see what the legless lizards got? Sure. All right. Here's Legolas, our friendly legless lizard, or Shelter Pusik. We also have Lieutenant Dan, who is not friendly like at all we need gloves so he will not be joining us for this part but he'll still get the gift later should we see what nick and danae picked out for you like a loss <gasps> they got you Ooh, nice merrick dog food that's a new oh it's turkey that's gonna be a fun new flavor for her to try oh, yeah. out there's also venison and duck as well as wellness turkey and duck. Ooh, a different brand. It'll be interesting to see which one they prefer. Do you want to see if she'll eat some of it on camera? Sure. She's let's... usually really good about eating. Yeah, I wonder, let's try, let's try this wellness right now. Here you go, Legolas, try it. Oh, she's smelling it. I think she's licking it. Oh yeah, she totally is. Ah, look at her go. Oh my gosh. Jeez, girl, take a big enough bite. <laughs> She's just mashing her face into it. I mean, don't you do that with your food? Oh, always. That's how I eat. I just smash my face into the plate <laughs> until food goes in my mouth. Yeah, I think she likes the wellness. Yeah, I think she approves. Mm-hmm. You're going to eat a pea? Nope, she's just going to lick up all the gravy <laughs> first. Oh, my she's gosh. eating her vegetables. Wow. Holy cow, Legolas. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take that big of a bite? <laughs> she's, like, up to her eyes in the food. Oh, oh my gosh. so good. She actually got it. What do you think? Well, I'd say she definitely approves yes. of her Christmas gift. I would as well, as her mouth is full of peas and carrots and other stuff. <laughs> I think she, she likes her food. I think she does too. Well, Merry Christmas, Legolas. Let's go give some to Dan. Different lighting up here. Oh, the lighting is terrible up here. But all of our filming lights are downstairs. Oh, they had eggs. We'll see if Dan wants this. And then we'll just leave that in his cage. Yep. Dan, here, look. Merry Christmas. Here's your food. Oh, I know. You're just all oh, huffy. Oh, try it. He likes to ram his face into the food. When he's not super mad. Well, that's what he does. He, he, he gets mad into his food and then oh. he eats. Just stick out your tongue and flick it. No, he says. Yep. Now, he will enjoy it. We'll put yep. it into his cage. You will like it. I know you will. He's just huffy because he's on camera. <laughs> The next gift was actually sent by Santa, and it's for our red-faced bull snake we produced about a year ago. This is Still Naughty. Her name is Still Naughty, because she's naughty, <laughs> still. But Santa sent her, I guess, a very special gift, because in his eyes, she was a very good girl this year. So, let's see what he got her. Yeah, even though her name is Still Naughty? Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> you weren't on the naughty list, little girl. Santa apparently didn't think so, so this is your gift. Oh. Oh, what could that be? You're smelling it. Well, oh, she's really, she's really interested in it. Let's just bring it to the floor and open it up. What did, 
Where did Santa get you? What could that be in there? <gasps> it's a dead mouse! It's your favorite! Just what she always wanted! Oh, how did Santa know? Here, look! <gasps> that gift is just for you! Aww! <laughs> well, I think she's just gonna eat it straight out of the box. <laughs> I think you're right. What are you doing to your gift? You're eating your present, girl! You're supposed to play with your presents, not eat them. Maybe this is what she thinks of Santa, and maybe <laughs> she shouldn't get a gift from yeah. Santa next year. Apparently not, if you're just gonna do this to it. Well, next year she's gonna get coal, for sure. And she's just eating her gifts. I wonder if this is what Santa intended with her Maybe gift. this was a mouse Santa found in his workshop. Oh, maybe. So she's doing him a favor? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this is, this is her redemption. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Especially this mouse yeah. is getting eaten on Christmas. He, he is definitely not stirring. 2020 was really rough on this mouse. Well, there goes her present. Yep, her present is now gone into <laughs> the depths of her. And you're letting her come over towards me. Merry Christmas! Okay, so Emily's back <laughs> and she didn't come back with a reptile. So I'm like, well, who's next? We still have five presents under this tree, and I don't think there's an animal in this house that's been good enough for five presents. And then all of a sudden someone went, rah. They're all for so you! So apparently she's been really good this year. You get the last gifts! I don't think she's been really good this year. Oh, but not, she's gonna love them. Not, not five presents worth anyways. She knows we're talking about her. Yeah. Come here! Look at me, Mom! Yeah, look, I want those presents. Yeah. Give me the presents. Have you been this good of a girl? Look at me! Pick me up. Give me presents! Give me presents! Alright, let's open your presents, Cheyenne! Yeah. What did you get? Look at that! The rest are for you! Here you go! Rip it open! Get it! Oh, do you want a different one? What are you doing? She's like, it's like a two-year-old Christmas present. Before they really understand what Christmas is, Yeah. they just kind of like, There's paper! And I'm not sure what you're doing! And there's a tree! And there's and a tree there's... for some reason! <laughs> what did you get? Oh! oh. Cheyenne's oh. favorite treats. That's one of your favorites. Look, Harrison's power treats. Uh, Here, do you want one? These are all for you. Try it. Mmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she likes it. Yeah, she approved. She also grabbed two. Did she? Yep. You glutton. Mmm. Is that good? Is that good? Oh, you want more? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> She's really happy about herself right now. Yeah, she loves these. We went to Parrot Island, which is a uh, bird store, bird specialty store in oh, the Twin Cities. Wow. Pay attention to me. I'm sorry. These, these are delicious. <laughs> I think she likes her gift. This is just her first of yeah. five. Mmm. Do you want one more and then we'll open another gift? Yes. Yeah, she loves Harrison's. Not a sponsor. She really does love Harrison's. Yeah, and they're pretty good for you. They're good for birds. Yeah. They're good for you too, I guess. Have you ever eaten a Harrison's? I have not. All right, I guess uh, mm. you need to see what your bird likes so much about it. Mm. It's kind of stale. It's not stale bad. Tasting. Yeah, it's not bad, I but mean, it's not. Cheyenne really likes good. it. Good. Here, you can have the rest of mine. Mmm. I would feed her yeah. Harrison solely for a diet, but it's really expensive to feed as just their pellet diet. So that's why I do Supreme and Golden Feast mix. But we do Harrison's power treats, don't we? Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, she's gonna come over here for more. Yeah. Okay. What could be in this if that was that fun? What could be in this present? Here, look. This is a special toy just for you. This is what we got at Target using Chloe's gift card. We were able to find a present for Cheyenne at Target. It is a blanket. Here. Oh, oh look at that. She already likes it. She already yeah. likes it. Look. Arr, get her blanket. <laughs> She's the most appreciative of all of her yeah, gifts. Yeah, I will say. I mean, the frogs and everybody who ate things like theirs. Mm hmm They did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Arr. <gasps> Arr. Wow. Arr. Good girl. Yep. This is going to be just Cheyenne's blanket from now on. Yep. I couldn't find a bird-themed blanket, so we went with an alligator instead. Yep. Here you go. Good girl. Yeah, she she likes it. She appreciates her Should we see what else you got? What could be in this one? No, she wants to keep playing with her towel. Yep. Of course. Should have been the last gift you gave her. Yeah, really. <laughs> Here, look, you also got this. Ooh, a new toy. New toy just for you. Look at that toy. No, Mom, I've got a towel. Yeah. 
blanket, Mom. This is from all of the fans, Cheyenne. From all of our Cheyenne funds. Here, look. That's for you. Yeah, you get it. Good girl. She's okay. Wow. Good girl. Get it. Get it. Okay, well, she's back to the blanket. Yeah, well, I mean, that's more of a cage toy or a stand toy anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to hang it up there for her. Yeah, she'll rip that up. Here's another one for you. Here, pull out the tissue. Get it. Good girl. Get, nope, nope. Back to the blanket. Back to the blanket. This is for you. Pull it out. Good girl. Open your gift. No. Nope. <laughs> she's just gonna go after her blanket. <laughs> this is why you should go to the blanket last. I should have, yes. Look at this one, Cheyenne. Whoa. Oh. Were you this good this year? That's from all the fans, too. This is for you. This one can surround you, it's so big. Look at that. What a lucky girl. And uh, we have one more. Did Cheyenne get wine for Christmas? She might have. Oh. oh. It's a foraging toy for you. We're always trying to find ways to keep Cheyenne busy. So we get her all sorts of foraging toys and she figures them out pretty quickly. But this is a new one we haven't tried yet. So for this foraging toy, there's all of these little plastic inserts and you put the treats in from above and the birds have to learn to pull out each insert. And as it dangles, the food just continues falling down until it makes it to the bottom where they can reach in and grab it. There you go, that's for you. Yeah, you can't reach it though. You gotta pull it out. Oh wow! Wow, that was, uh, that, that was a lot Look, faster than I expected it to get. Oh yeah, she'll figure it oh, out. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> well, that concludes all of our Christmas gifts given by you to our animals, and I, I'd say they went over really well, actually. Oh, yeah. We do have one thing that people are probably gonna ask about in the comments. What about Rex? Rex. Uh, she is on the naughty list this yeah. year. She ate her neighbor's dog. She wouldn't wear a mask in public. She popped her pools again. She's just, just on the naughty list. So she did not get gifts for this Christmas because we're saving her gifts until we move her to the facility is really what we're doing. Yeah. So she is getting gifts. We saved a chunk, which is what I was talking about earlier. All the rec specific fish funds were saved for her to just spoil her rotten when we move her to the new facility. Cause that's really what we want to wait for. So that's why Rex wasn't in today's video, but don't worry, her spoiling adventure is coming up soon. Yeah, that'll, I mean, she got sent to Jolly Ball in one of the fan mail openings. Yep. She's gonna get a bunch of toys and treats and little fish to hunt down in a yeah. pool. So she'll be spoiled rotten here in hopefully about two to three weeks. Yep, maybe. I don't quite know. It depends yeah. on when the glass for her enclosure comes in because we True. need glass to keep her contained in the room. So yeah, that's why Rex wasn't in today's video, but Merry Christmas, Cheyenne. Thank you everybody for watching our videos and supporting us on Patreon or sending the money to pay for these toys. You all made Christmas very special for us over here and it wouldn't be the same without all of your support. So thanks again for watching our videos and I hope no matter what holiday you are celebrating at this time of the year, I hope it's a good one and we'll see you next time. Also look, we decorated. We have a tree in this house. We've never had a Christmas tree in this house before and my mom will be so proud. Yeah. Mom, if you're watching this, Look, I Look, do have a Christmas tree. There's a little Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Emily's taller it's than it's sitting down, mm -hmm. but there's a little Christmas it tree. It still counts. Yep. All right, goodbye, everyone. Happy holidays. Today we're at PetSmart, and we figured that we would take um, just a small amount of Rex's fish fund, and we would get them some presents for some animals that don't normally enter on the channel, such as our favorite, Lieutenant Dan. And Chloe. And Chloe. And we might get some gifts for some other animals as well, but this way, we have a small amount of money, and we can get some gifts that Ed and Emily haven't seen yet, and they can open them and be super surprised. Funded by you. Yeah, funded by Patreons, and also... Um, very generous donations no, from fan Funded mail. by very generous donations from fan mail, which you don't have to send them money. They appreciate it, but you don't have to. You can keep it for yourself to get your own animal stuff. So let's head into PetSmart and see what we can find. We figured the reptiles get their normal reptile food all the time, but we could get them something really special for Christmas. So we figured we'd try doing some of the freeze-dried, like the mixers Instinct has for Chloe as a treat because it's just the beef and there's nothing else added. 
and then that way they can just kind of pop in some treats and she can taste those. Plus she's a big turtle, so those are some big pieces for her. Unfortunately, the turtle treats in the turtle section are usually about this big, and Chloe's mouth is about yay big. Oh, hey look, it's Lieutenant Dan's favorite food. Human fingers? No, turkey. So we'll do a turkey and a duck, Lieutenant Dan. And do you want to get the, um, as we were leaving the aisle, because we had gotten Lieutenant Dan his gifts, we found venison holiday stew. We looked at the ingredients, and they're actually pretty good. There's nothing that he can't have in small amounts, and we figured that he doesn't normally get this sort of food. I found stuff without potatoes. Oh, okay, that's really good. So, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan is getting pretty spoiled. We picked Legolas. out a couple meals for Dan and Legolas, and then we picked out some pretty awesome treats for Chloe and the turtles. These are all freeze-dried, so they'll last a really long time, but we figured these will be extra delicious for them. And then they, we, thank you for, thanks for helping. You're welcome. <laughs> so then we also have freeze-dried chicken and then the raw mix boosters. So we've got just a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Really excited.